Generic greetings and welcome to Big Ambitions. Today's beverage is a very nice green tea and heather infusion. Very interesting and a bit different indeed. So welcome to Big Ambitions. This is billed as a role-playing business and life simulation where essentially we start off with a new character and are gifted, quite frankly, an obscene amount of money in order to set up a business which happens to be a little gift stall and then you go to a burger joint and the idea is to build your business, literally physically build it by adding in things like uh, seating and lighting and all that sort of thing. You have to manage your opening hours, prices, employees, and then you can go and, you know, eventually I get the idea is you've got monopoly on everything and franchises and stuff like that. So, yeah, it is quite large in scope. I've played about two and a half hours of the game thus far and early access, so typical uh, typical disclaimers do apply in this one. Nothing you see is final, everything's subject to change, etc. But so far, I have enjoyed my time with it in spite of... The odd thing, uh, mainly the tutorial, I must confess, but anyway. Beautiful. Hey, make sure you keep the popularity very high for all your businesses. Yes, I will. Okay, so a uh, quick rundown of UI here. We have our character on the left-hand side. This is uh, Derek Jenerickson, who is top-notch business person. You can see we've got a nice sort of suit jacket and tie and shirt on. But, uh, you know, as a self-confessed shorts person, we do have some shorts there. But a nice pair of uh, brown shoes on as well. So very formal indeed. Um, we have some stats to manage, which is energy, food, and... Um, was so like uh, sort of happiness. We have our money, which it says it's in the positive. I'm not too convinced. Uh, we're currently on day 23, and it is 7 o'clock in the morning. We have our phone, which we can open up things like contacts and employees and check our businesses, and the objectives are shown on the top left, which is start selling expensive gifts at the gift store, which we've now done, and generate a total profit of 1,000 in one day. So let's have a look at the businesses. So over to Bizman here, and we can see we've got Bangin' Burgers and the generic generic gift supply. So, generic gift supply, we have a mm, actually not a terrible uh, satisfaction rating. It's on 66 there. Our inventory and pricing is that we are selling expensive gifts and soda cans, but I do want to start selling cheap gifts as well. Schedule is it's open between Monday and Friday uh, between the hours of 8 and between the hours of 8 and 4, that's actually a bit of a problem because the person working here, which is Ralph Martin, we can check on the employees. I'm pretty confident they want to work part-time, which is not ticked, so their satisfaction is going to go down. So you do have different employees with different demands. So, for example, um, Lily Owens here, they have a... Yeah, want for full-time work, which they've got. Uh, you can also set up like uniforms and such. Uh, you can change uh, the different businesses. You can alter opening hours for the different times of day. So you can say, right, well, actually, Monday we want, uh, you know, we're not going to open on Monday. Or actually, if we are going to open on Monday, we don't want to have a shared thing for each day. So we'll actually have Ralph not work that day. And yeah, there's, there's loads of stuff that you can do. So like Monday, <laughs> they're not working on, uh, well, they're not working... Um, Tuesday, but they are Monday. Anyway, let me just put uh, put them back on there. As I said, this is just um, the sort of first impressions of the game thus far. I must confess, I have... I have not done very well when it comes to the starting of uh, this, although some of that is down to the tutorial. Anyway, what we need to do is we go to... Um, what have we got in our storage in the car? In the back of the car, we've got a round shelf, which is fine. But what I want to do is I want to get, I want to get some more gifts and put them in the store. So we're just going to drive along. Uh, there is a, a radio that you can play, but I have a feeling... Uh, insert noises of surprise. Um, yeah, we've got the radio, but I have a feeling it's... Uh, would be flagged on YouTube, so that's been paused. Just so you know, there is a there is a radio, but I just didn't put on for this uh, playthrough. So what we're going to do is basically drive around and yeah, just cut up that car. Um, I should point out there is uh, fuel and <laughs> there is fuel and um, uh, maintenance on the car. And yes, I have a one point broke in the car to a point where I cannot drive it. You have to then pay, I think it's 500 generic units of currency for a tow truck in order to fix that. Anyway, we're just going to blow past the red lights there. You can you can pretty much go wherever you need to go and you're not going to get fined for things. Actually, you will get fined if you... Um, if you... What is it? If you park in the wrong place, you can get fined. Anyway, I'm going into this big warehouse here and I want to buy... We've got different paper bags here, which I actually... I think I will... Park the vehicle there, 
Cameras just span around there. We're going to pick up some paper bags and we'll just add that item to the storage in the back of the car. And we're going to add some soda cans and again add that to the storage. And then we want to get some cheap gifts, which apparently cheap gifts are not that cheap at 800, uh, 846.01 generic currency. But that's for a total law of, uh, of 200 anyway. So that's fine. So we've got a shelf in the back, which I bought previously. Um, and we've got all of the other stuff we've just bought. Okay, perfect. So we'll just... Uh, we we'll just bomb around the warehouse here and drive it like we stole it and spin around. <laughs> there is physics to go along with the car, so you can skid it around places. And uh, I haven't rolled it yet, but I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't uh, surprise me if something like that can be done. And let's just get out of here. So we need to go over to Generic Gift Supply and we need to basically set all of this up. So we're going to come out of here very carefully and... And we'll head. So we'll go down here, and that is the pinkest van I've ever seen. And then we'll sort of skirt around here. Whoa! See, <laughs> see what I mean by the sliding? <laughs> Brilliant. It is actually entertaining just driving the vehicles around. Uh, oh, it's gone green, but we can go ahead and. All oh, right, okay, so we need to go here. That's the store that I own. I own the store, but I don't own the building. I just rent there. I assume that you can. Uh, you can buy at some point. Anyway, we can park the vehicle. It does say legal at the bottom there. And we will go to manage storage and we're going to pick up the rounded shelf. So it must be a self assembly kit because if we go to, there you go, generic gift supply, we'll go in here and, oh, we have someone already working in here. So hello there. Um, I'm going to place this in, I'd say, I think about there. So we have another. Yeah, we have another um, gift thing, so that's fine. Previously, I was selling cheap gifts, but we're going to see if we can manage to sell... Uh, well, I want the cheap gifts there. That's fine, yeah. We're selling cheap gifts and the expensive gifts. I've put the cheap gifts at the back of the store, though. <laughs> there we go. So there's all of the cheap gifts. And there's the more expensive gifts. And there's some cans of... Uh, Soda there as well. Looks like we've only sold three of them and the store's been open several days now. So, yeah, might be a bit optimistic to... <laughs> a bit optimistic to uh, bring in some more. But you can see at the back here, this is like the back shop where we've got... Actually, you probably won't be able to see because it's so dark. Um, oh, stop moving. Right, uh, to move, it's left click, but you can hold mid uh, press middle click to get this auto run feature. Um, oh, there's still 70 cheap gifts there. So I'm going to put the soda cans there, and I'm going to then place the... Uh the other gifts in there. I'm going to get, go to the cleaning station as well because there is some, uh, yeah, some dirt in the store. And what I find, there's a lot of things in the game that do make it quite accurate and immersive. And one of the things is where people walk is where the dirt goes. So you're not necessarily going to have loads of dirt in that corner there. Um, this person's just come in, and you notice we're getting some insights. I like when stores play music. Oh, these walls and floors are so ugly here. Um, I guess we can go to Interior Designer, and we can paint it, can't we? So let's do some of that. Let's go ahead, and for the walls, I like the idea of... Oh, that acts sort of stone. Oh, maybe not. Um, can we hold Control to, to do that? We've got... That's quite nice. Oh, that's nice. And let's just paint this thing. That looks better than it did previously. I'm spending money faster than I'm making it, though. So there's that in. And the flooring. We've currently got just standard wood flooring. That would be a nice contrast, but it's 35 a piece. Wow. It would be how much? 2,600 to put that wall in. How much was each sex section? Oh, okay, it's 100. Revert. <laughs> we don't have nowhere near enough money to uh, to do any of that. Okay. Oh, wow, this guy's got loads of shopping. Okay, good. So, we are selling stuff here. That person was almost ready to shoplift there. You see them walk out? Um, let's just go across. And I'll, I'll show you the, the second business that we have running here. This is the Bang & Burger joint, and it is... It is filthy. It is absolutely filthy. Let me go ahead and just get that cleaning station here and clean all the way around here. You can see where the dirt's been and this is... I'm not going to say it's the worst burger place in existence because... Well, we've all been to... No, I was about, uh, I was about to say a certain uh, uh, burger chain and then there'll be, uh, there'll be riots in the comments there. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> insert your uh, least favorite burger joint in the uh, comments. So, um, yeah, you can see they're all coming in. I can't find a place to sit down. The walls are ugly. I like when staff plays music. Yeah, so this is just basic. And this is one of the problems I actually have with the game is that the tutorial tells us to open one business and then open a second one. It, it feels more intuitive to go, here's a business. Now we need to improve the business. This is how you do that. And then let's start another one. I just think that at the moment, it, it's not yet told us to improve the, the business. I hope it does in the future, but, um, well, we'll see. I mean, we could get some places for people to sit down. Um, I mean, across the road, actually, we do have an appliance store and also the Questionable Contracts, Inc. Uh, this is AJ Pedersen and Son, and this is their... Ooh, this is their... Uh, yeah, this is their... This is their showroom, and they've got drawers. We've got industrial coffee machines. We've got a trash bin. We've got shelves checkouts because there's multiple businesses you can create you can create um all manner of eateries as well as uh i think you can create like coffee shops and supermarkets all types of like food places i'm gonna guesstimate that you know it's like salons and uh beauty places will be added as well and just all manner of things. Anyway, I do want a couple of these trash bins, I think. So we're going to go ahead and go to the hand truck here. So we'll grab the hand truck. We'll have a wheel over to the bins. I'm going to get two two bins, I think. And then we'll place that order. And there we go. Thank you very much. We're just waiting in the queue. Again, one of the things that is is like an, an added touch for immersion. You can't just barge in front of someone because, you know, there's a queue and... You know, we're, we're British, we're, we're going to queue all day long. What we can do, though, is nick the hand truck, which I think is a quite an interesting thing. Uh, so we can place <laughs> we can place this in, and I'm just going to place both of the, uh, both of the um, bins at the doorway here. So as people are leaving, they can get rid of that. So I can, uh, I can pick this up and uh, wheel it back, and I think that's... That's probably what's to do. Oh, no, wait, we're just going to park in the middle of the road and walk off. Okay, so that is fine. It is currently, oh, just about closing time. How is this uh, store doing? Oh, the expensive gifts have gone down by quite a considerable amount, as have the cheap gifts. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our business and generic gift supply and the marketing. And I want to call a marketing agency. So we want to say generic gift supply and we want to go for a small internet campaign. Price per day is 100. We will confirm that. I think also if we check out uh, what it was, it was burgers and marketing. We're currently running a 250 uh, marketing uh, scheme on that one, but that doesn't really it doesn't really work when we've got no place to sit down. Anyway, what we'll do is we're going to take care of some personal business. So again, it's it's a game that you do have to manage your time. You know, we spent all day driving around, cleaning, managing, uh, dealing with you know the different uh, opportunities that the day has presented us with. So we've improved things. We've uh, you know had a look at our staff and that sort of thing. Um, there's also economy view where you can see what your what's been bought and sold, what's really good. So when you open a business, you don't want to open up a business where the market is highly saturated um, and you're just not going to make any money. But what I want to do now is go to this uh, food place and go for basically some fresh food there and we're just going to place that order. I do want to get a freezer because at the moment I've got a big pile of burgers in a box just sitting in the uh <laughs> the banging burgers <laughs> restaurant <laughs> yeah but i also want to place like place uh, things where people can go and sit down which means actually i don't know what it means i think it means visiting the local ikea um but, but i mean that surely will work for industrial and uh, commercial properties rather than just in here because this is our apartment which we have seen and uh yeah, one of the things that the game wanted me to do was buy a, buy a computer, so we're all kinds of meta. Uh, let's consume some... Actually, no, we'll just say put the food in there. So place in there. And what we're going to do, because we want to be entertained, is four hours gaming. Uh, we're doing gaming in the game. And there we go. Our satisfaction has not increased, but our energy has gone down. So what we'll do is we'll have a bit of a sleep here. And we'll wake up at five in the morning. Wow, okay, let's see how much money we've made. Oh, that's pretty good. 863.29 generic units of currency. That is good. Okay, we will consume some fresh food for breakfast. And I think... 
I think it's time we... Uh, I'd like a restaurant booth. I really would like a restaurant booth, but it was two grand for one. But would it be worth it is the question. Would it be worth getting one? Uh, ah, this is closed. Okay, that gives me a chance to demonstrate... No, it's not going to let me demonstrate. If you get to a point where you can't get into a business, I think it's open now anyway, there are often at times seating around and you can just sleep on there and it'll be, be totally fine. There is a night and day cycle and does change, so that's uh, pretty good. So a restaurant booth, let's get one of these. So we'll pick this up for two grand and we'll place the order. And can we just pick that up? Yes, we can. And just leave the hand truck in front of them. A bit rude of ours, but there again, we just dumped one in the middle of the road anyway. So, we're now in, and let's place this in... Well, ideally, obviously we're going to eventually have... Can that go there? It can. Eventually we want multiples of these, and I'd probably put them in the middle. But yeah, uh, what you can do as well, so we can go, for example, to our Bizman, select the banging burgers, select the schedule. Today is where Lily Owens will be working, which I'm guessing, oh, they're actually working full time, so it's not a problem. Oh, that's that's okay then. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Job done. Um, Generic gift supply, though. Yeah, Ralph, only want to work part time. So we might look for another employee. Would it be worth looking for another employee? Because at the moment, the burger place is open Monday to Friday. But not Saturday to Sunday. And our gift supply is opened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But we haven't got Saturday or Sunday. Okay. I'll go to contact and hmm, recruitment agency, which we can view on the map and we can check out where it is. And speaking of the map, it is actually very functional. We can see where we started, where the businesses are, where the cars parked. You can see, right, where's the nearest supply and stores? And then you can click on that. And all of these buildings, by the way, you can, you can <laughs> um, rent and such unless they're being uh, occupied by someone else. And... I assume, perhaps wrongly, the businesses will open and close, or if that's not the case, then, you know, that's... I would, again, assume that that one... That's something that the uh, is planned in the future. Anyway, I digress. Uh, there's a car dealership as well, but I've not visited there yet. I have visited the... Yes, I have visited the the truck garage, I think. No. Uh, where did I visit? Anyway, it was to fuel the car up and get it repaired. It actually got towed there. Uh, furniture shop, which is basically Ikea. And... Hmm, yeah. We, I think the recruitment station's further on. But we could just use our contracts and recruitment agency. We're going to call those. And, ah, oh, outside of our business hours. All right, okay. <laughs> so when are they open then? Uh, they are open, if we check out that. So recruitment agency, it's open at 8, which is, we've got, we've got an hour. We've got another hour. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's have a, should we have a quick look, because we can, at the IKEA, just because... I think it would be nice just to have a look around and to show you what it's like. Actually, you know what? Let's visit the Green Salad. This is something I think is franchised because I've seen them about the place. And we can talk to the person behind the counter and buy things like, oh, let's buy a soda. We'll place that order there. And they actually physically do turn around and go and grab stuff, which I think, again, all touches like that in the game. Um, you are too stuffed to consume this item. We cannot even have a soda. Okay, fine. I think well, what we'll do, we'll add that to the back of the car. We've got emergency car soda in the back if we get um, a little bit uh, without hydration. So, what we'll do is we'll have a little visit the Ikea. Hmm. I think I just managed to clip the back of that as well, which uh, they're probably not too concerned with. Because they didn't stop. So, this is where we need to go. Is it in here? I think it's in here. Mm, no, that's a truck garage. Further along. Hang on then. Let's just back up. Fair speed. There we go. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Let me just check where the business is. Oh, it's the next one along. Um, and if I spin round. Yeah. Ica. <laughs> you can see that. Ica. 
That's where it is. Oh, it's, all, it's not even open for another two hours. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll head back. I uh, wasn't worried. <clears throat> okay. So we'll head back and we're going to check out the uh, burger place. Safe. And we'll just park up here. There's no penalty for going over pedestrians because you can't. You see where I've done that. Uh, we'll park that. And was that someone going into the gift store? Oh, we can change the sign as well. Oh, that's that's cool. Change the neon colour. And the lamp colour. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Just little details that are really good. Expensive gifts gone down, cheap gifts as well, and soda cans. Oh, soda cans are actually 60 of 60, so if I check the cans out there. Yes, so the, the staff, our staff member here, Ralph, um, they have... Yeah, they've, they've restocked things. Oh, hang on, it just tell me the generic gift supply is dirty. Okay. You can hire a cleaner. And it's probably something I want to do at some point. There we go. Probably in front of where the counter is. Maybe in front of this one then. Oh, close. There we go. Perfect. Discard. Right. Um, I was going to contact the recruitment agency. So, we want to select generic gift supply. Skill set is customer services. Amount of candidates, candidates one. Days to deliver, one. Confirm. I just want one candidate. And I'll see what they, see what they do. So that's fine. Let's uh, check the burger place. Go across here. There's another green salad. So there's the green salad this side and the other side. It's uh, it's like Greg's where <laughs> where I am. Um, what's this all about? Why is that? Why have we got an alert there? We don't really have an alert per se. Is this place open? I mean, probably. Yeah, it is open. Marketing. Hmm. Maybe we do marketing of small campaign. The the large one, just no, no, that's not that's not what we want. But obviously, if we worked here, because at the moment we're not, we're just wandering between the businesses. Then obviously we could save some money on staffing costs. What's Market Insider telling us? There is a demand for expensive jewelry. Ooh, okay, right. I mean. We're selling cheap gifts and expensive gifts. Can we sell? Can we sell expensive jewelry? Provide us zero businesses. Mm, shall we see how much expensive jewelry is just to buy? I mean, I'm, I'm just talking to physically buy at wholesale. How much is it? <laughs> Let's have a look. I think I mentioned previously, but the car does take damage. And it physically changes as well. Oh, yeah, so you, you can actually see it changing. Um, and the whole, whole front was dented in. <laughs> Let's just go past there. And we need to do a bit of a U-turn here. You can see that bit there is blocked off. I think it's because we're still, even at this stage, two and a bit hours in, still in the tutorial sort of phases. So let's enter this. So we've got... Food on the right, paper bags, soda cans, cheap gifts, cheap gifts, expensive gifts. We've got fresh fruit, croissants, donuts, cup of coffees, cupcakes, flowers, expensive flowers, cheap jewellery. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. So for 50 pieces of cheap jewellery, it is 4,795 generic units of currency. And expensive jewellery is 43,000 plus change. I don't think we're going to be... <laughs> uh, yeah, changing the gift place up. And there's loads of clothing as well on the left and right hand side there. Modern clothing. Yeah, so, sorry. There's uh, no sale, I'm afraid. We uh, <laughs> There's no way we can afford that. Absolutely no way. So what I'll do is... I'll visit the Ikea. Just to... Uh, Again, show you around it a bit. There we go. Lights change green. 
we knew that, obviously. Uh, that one didn't, but, you know. Oh, I was going to say, I'm not going to pretend to care, but I've just clunked that and done about 5% 5 5 damage. And I think... I think the vehicle is... Uh... Oh, we don't have a blue badge. Hang on, let me just park here. Um, let's just park in... There. I think we've done some damage. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Front sobbing. Oh, dented in. Brilliant. Right, let's go in here. And um, I'll point out now, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. Salad bar, hot dog grills, standard tables. So here's the thing. How much is a standard table? Won't tell me. Pick up the flatbed. Right. Because this is like their... This is like their showroom type thing. They're selling cheap coffee machines, salad bars, hot dog griddles. Let's have a look around then. So we're just going to follow the arrows. And this is... Yeah, this is not really commercial side of it. This is more, you know, living room and home decor. Lots of people coming here as well. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this now? Carpets, round carpets, ceiling lamps, regular chairs. Yeah. And then, then I'll check out. Okay. So, it seems that it is giving us something at the start here. Like, can... How, how much is one of, say, one of them? Let's go regular chair. One, two, three, four. And one of them. And a table. Uh, we can't afford it. Let's put two away. I just want to see if it works in the, uh, in the commercial aspect of it. I have a feeling not. But then again... Place the order. If nothing else, I know that we can place this at home. And we now have a table and chair. <laughs> Every cloud an excuse and all of that. So we'll head out to our car. Manage storage. Oh. And that's full. Alright, let's go. Let's uh let's get to the burger place. I think we'll just have time. No, no, we'll probably get there just as it's closing. Which is fine. Customers don't want to see us lugging around loads of furniture. And, hang on, is it this way? It is this way. It's, uh, if there's a criticism to make, it's that it, obviously it is just a universal grid system and it is easy to get lost. But like I say, the map is functional. But, you can also, I do remember... A lot of the places. Oh yeah, oh this is, oh it's absolutely... <laughs> Dice, do we need to place orders? Um, is there any problem, I mean, is there any problems here? Because there's paper bags, and the grill's been staffed, so I don't know. Anyway, let's just place that there. And we'll come back tomorrow, we'll see what the deal is. Regular chair, oops. So, oh, hang on. Oh, so they went up to that and it was just, oh, it's, is it just closed? Yeah, it's literally just closed as they came in. Oops, part of the vehicle. Manage storage. We want, got one paper bag. Oh, that's our, can, our soda can, <laughs> right? Uh, and the regular chair. Okay, so we've placed that in there. As I said, this is just a test. And... That's now connected to that table. Good. Business closed. Cool. So let's go back home and we'll see how much we've made today. So we've had a full day of selling gifts, full day of selling burgers. We have spent some money. We have altered marketing. Good grief. That was almost <laughs> some sort of hideous accident there. So, we're going to go for, we'll have, uh, we'll have four hours gaming, and we'll have a good eight hours. Bright and early, uh, 668. 
and we'll get a morning morning's game session in. Actually, you know what we'll do? Today, because we can, Banging Burgers schedule, Thursday we open, but not Lily. We are going to run that ourselves. So, we'll make... We'll have two hours of gaming. Ironically playing, probably, a game about cooking or something. <laughs> we'll leave the car for our daily stroll. Then we'll get run over. And... Let's go in here. So, we can... We can assign ourselves to here. Business is currently closed. Fast forward time to opening time. I like when stores play music. So, walls are so ugly. So they're wanting a burger. So we'll pick up a burger. They get a burger. And they are going to sit down! So, for science, we have determined that the, ch the just standard IKEA tables and chairs and the lovely office, uh, office, the restaurant booth over there, it works. Okay, let's use time machine till the end of the shift. And, oh, we've also received a recruitment message. Let's just check that contract. Uh, that out, that out. Yeah, it says, oh, Louise Murphy. Perfect. Hire candidate. So, let's do a couple of, let's, let's do some business. So, for banging burgers, I want to put back on schedule for all days. Lily. 40 hours a week. We're not open Saturday, Sunday. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Four. Generic gift supply. Two alerts. Business is dirty and Louise Murphy is currently not assigned to any task. Yep, well, we're going to sort that out anyway. So, schedule. We want to open all days a week. And we want to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll have Ralph. Thursday. Friday. And Saturday, we'll have Louise. And Sunday, we'll just we'll have Sunday off. Because that means that each employee... Full-time, yes, for Lily, who works in the burger place. Ralph wants to work part-time, that's ticked. And part-time for Louise. So that should... Should have sorted that out. Um, okay, let me, let me just clean this place before we finish off, really. I'm guessing some of it will be around here. Is there a dirt overlay? It feels like there should be. <laughs> I think we can change the colours of uh, some of this stuff if we need to. Anyway, we'll go and clean the other business. And I think that's pretty much it. Did I... Did I change the schedule back? I did. I don't know how dirty this place is. Oh, cleanliness is only 60%. But it means it's been frequented. <laughs> Bit of a side note about dirt, which is an interesting comment to start, admittedly. Um, why can't we get this... Why can't we get this 1%? Um, one of the first, in fact, probably the first board games, proper board games aside from, say, like, you know, Monopoly or whatever, that I bought was the Battlestar Galactic game. Being a big fan of uh, of the TV show. Reimagining. Um, I can't get that last bit, so we'll just have to sack it off. And it being long-running, long-played, probably over hundreds of games, it is... <laughs> well didn't use card protectors at the time and it is absolutely worn out but I don't mind because it means it's been used there's memories there we have to be uh, positive about these things anyway I digress let's go ahead and call it a day there so we will sleep for I uh, know we'll get some we'll get some food because we are yeah we are low on that one energy is also low but we'll do a bit of gaming for four hours and then we'll get to bed and we'll see what sort of profit we made. Because we worked there, we don't have to pay someone, which means there it is. Total profit, 1,000... 
Uh, 230.60. That is pretty good. And... Hey kid, you got to come see my new villa in Marbella. We'll hmm. bring some sangrias together someday. It's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad to see you figured out how to increase your profit. Our next move is all about cutting out the middleman, the wholesaler. We got to start importing our products ourselves. So, we are now being tasked with renting a small office building, opening a headquarters for a new office building, and basically buying stuff wholesale rather than driving around and managing things ourselves. In the short term, I would certainly hire a cleaner to deal with, um, like you say, those um, tasks there. Um, probably do a bit more micromanagement as well on the weekends or when the businesses are not open or we, we need to staff them ourselves just to increase that profit, pay back some of the money for the loans, and obviously we make more money by buying rather than go to a wholesaler being able to import it but that is just a i think a small slither of the game um overall first impressions are very positive um aside from the odd bit of jank i think it would be the best way to describe it uh i think the the main sticking point is the tutorial is good and it tells you everything you need to know and why you need to do certain things I just don't understand why it's asking us to open two businesses without saying, actually, let's improve one first. Maybe that's just a personal thing, or maybe it's a total subjective thing. That's just my take from it. But, yeah, it's it's a lot more immersive than I thought. A lot of these type games tend to be very abstract in the ways they do things, but you go to a counter, you order something, the, the person behind the counter physically has to move around and grab these things and comes back. And that's obviously then taking time and, you know, there's like other systems in play like the dirt. Obviously you've got restocking and all of that sort of thing. Everything sort of connects together. What I'm saying is I'm enjoying it and I'm going to be playing some more. Hope you have enjoyed this look at the game. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, etc., then by all means let me know in the comments. Uh, <laughs> because we're standing in the door there, they couldn't find a cash register. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously early access, so typical disclaimers apply. This is build um, EA0.1 build 1712. It's very early, so we'll see hopefully how the game improves in uh, due course. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.